Mark Morton from Lamb of God. Chad, this is Ben May. Gary Holt. Mark. Kiko Lodato. Shovel here. Al Braun. Chris Kale. We steal my travel. Justin Morrow. Trevor Sternet. Sobre la dosis. 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 It's a great metal podcast. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Let's go! You better be listening because I know where you live. Hey, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, from your first question, um, I do think uh, Deathcore and Metalcore are the most accepted right now. Um, but. I think that's the thing about those two genres is they're very adaptive and um, they're very versatile, I think, because um, trends come and go um, very quickly, um, like down tempo, uh, new metal, um, you know, like they, the trends come back to. Um, so it's kind of all over the place. And with metalcore and deathcore, I think Nowadays, um, it's kind of evolved into a place where you can take either genre and kind of go in any direction you want. Um, with your, you're still with your core elements of whether it be deathcore or metalcore, but it's very adaptive. So I mean, as times change and progress, um, you know you can go in whatever direction you feel is necessary. Um, I mean, even for like us with our album, our last album, The Chosen. Um, we kind of wanted to just um, attribute like all of our influences um, from that we all love. Like me and Gabe both, um, we don't just sit there and listen to Deathcore. In fact, I don't think any of my favorite albums ever are Deathcore records. Um, but we can take influences um, that aren't Deathcore and put them into our music and it's still deathcore. I don't know, it's a fucking mind bender. So I don't, I don't really know, necessarily know. I think, I think honestly the borders and the lines of deathcore and genres and metalcore and all that together are starting to blur and are being opened up. Like the floodgates are opening, at least in my opinion, but I don't know, I live under a rock. So, um, what have I learned about myself in quarantine? Um, personally, I learned that I, um, run from pain and negative emotions. Um, music has been an outlet for me, a big outlet. Um, but I did notice when I wasn't writing music, um, I would, you know, tend to try to escape negative emotions and hide them and bury them. And I also learned that over time, those emotions that I shove down start to manifest in my life in a negative way. Um, yeah, and you know, I learned, I think a lot of people learn that too, when they have problems like that, mental health issues, they all kind of surface during quarantine. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a very painful discovery for me because obviously I had to experience a lot of buried pain and trauma but on the other hand i think it was really good because i had the opportunity to deal with something that has been holding me down and weighing me down uh basically my entire life so that is what i learned about myself and yeah it's still kind of hard but i think overall um you know dealing with my emotions and processing things um, and really thinking about them and addressing them um, in the long run is a lot healthier for me. I feel a lot more uh, free, happy. <laughs> um, and the third question, how do you know you wanted to be a touring musician? Uh, I knew right away when I was 13, 12 or 13, um, when I bought my first little things of CDs my Sony Walkman, I knew right away. As soon as I popped that shit in my ear, and I guess that goes back to the escapism, right? Um, so, you know, as a kid, I, I had a rough time um, 
and as soon as I got my first Sony Walkman and I popped the CD in there and then I popped those headphones on, um, boom, instantly transported to another universe, another world, another dimension. And I fell in love with music and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I was like, I wanna create worlds. I wanna create other dimensions that people can go to to find I don't know if they want to, I don't know, because that's what I did is I, I would go to another dimension where I put my headphones on and I would just be able to escape, right? Um, escape the current reality and situation. Um, in doing in doing that and deciding to be a musician, um, you know, I knew what I wanted and I went for it. And that helped me tremendously because obviously when you have passion and when you have a drive and you have goals, um, you know, it really is helpful for your mental health to be able to put effort towards something positive and work towards something and achieve things. Um, so yeah, I knew, I knew right away, right away. Well, thanks, Jonathan.